Now, nearly 10 million people have watched the Netflix adaption, adaptation of David Nichols' best-selling book, One Day, including you. You've watched it all, haven't the whole More thing? More 10 million, yeah. Couldn't Loved stop. it. Oh, really? Yeah, it's totally binge-worthy, yeah. Mm, it's not the only one of his novels that's going to make the jump from page to the I screen. I can't believe you haven't seen it. I haven't, I, I, I'm not sure I can do it. Do it this afternoon. No, it's like the millions of episodes. <laughs> yeah. It's going to make me 14. cry and I can't face that. No. But now, more than a decade since the release of comedy drama Starter for Ten, another book by David Nichols, uh, it's set to once again entertain audiences in another reincarnation. This time it's a musical starring Mel Gidroyd and our reporter Rhiannon Wynell has been to meet her. Amber, Amber, Amber. Correct. The glassy mix. No. And while you're there, can you get some soup instead? Yeah. A few more rehearsals for the cast before the curtains rise on Starter for Ten. Sets in Bristol, there could only be one place to launch it. We're premiering this musical in Bristol. Not only just in Bristol, at the Bristol Old Vic. And I think all of us, when we walked into this theatre, kind of felt... This is, this is really special. You know, the walls have stored... Actually, that's quite a cheap wall. But anyway, the older walls in the theatre tell many, many stories. University Challenge. The 1980s comedy has University Challenge as a backdrop. I play Irene Jackson and she is 45. I'm playing 45. Um... <laughs> She's at that point of her life where her son is going off to university. I have to say, it resonates quite strongly with, with my own experience because my kids are now at university and you do have that feeling of just sickening, howling, wailing uh, grief for about a week. And then you think, oh, hello. Oh, there's a bit more free time. Beauty you can actually touch. And the music brings back memories for Mel. As a student, you know, the smoky basement clubs that we all used to, well, I hope we all used to go to, I certainly did. Um, Angles Nightclub, for me, was very, very big in the 80s. Dressed, you know, a trilby, possibly a pair of shades, maybe a bin liner, some chains. All that stuff is brought to life so brilliantly and evocatively in this musical. David Nichols is a really clever writer because he's writing about a very specific time, 1985, and a specific place, Bristol, the city that we all love, and being a student in that city. But the characters are universal. Anyone from any age, you know, from 10 to 90, will, will, will find something in this show. And David Nichols is having such a moment. Who is he then? Dear Dex. Oh, uh, he's a friend from university. With one day being top of the kind of Netflix uh, viewing, everyone loving that. I'm engaged. Dexter, that's... That's amazing. Congratulations. Oh. Mel found early fame on Channel 4's Light Lunch with sidekick Sue before rising to primetime BBC One with Bake Off. On your marks. Get set. Bake. bake. And more recently, vying for the spotlight in front of millions at Eurovision. Literally milking it. Now it's all eyes on Mel at the Bristol Old Vic. And with the musical soon to launch, get ready for your starter for ten.